Today, I'm gonna to show you some secret sound design plugins hidden in plain sight in Logic Pro 10. Ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up everyone, it's Mythical. So if this is your first time watching and wanna learn more about Logic Pro 10, then consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on more Logic Pro 10 tutorials. So Logic Pro is very good at keeping things hidden and a few of those things really are hidden gems. Namely the tape saturation that's hidden as a delay plugin. I did a video on that last week, um, but today I'm gonna to be showing you the Legacy Collection or at least three plugins from the Legacy Collection that were part of previous Logic Pro versions on their main plugin roster, but now are kind of on the, um, the back end, back door, accessible plugins that probably a lot of people don't even know exist. Um, but a few of those I still feel are worth um, something today and, 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 and they may help you with, with part of your sound design. So before I hit record on this video, I whipped up this really basic arrangement of synth and a drum beat, which is an Apple stock uh, loop. Let's go ahead and hit play and see what it sounds like. There's nothing going through my buses which have the plugins I'll, that I'll demonstrate so let's go ahead and listen to this solo up the beat okay so all I have is an EQ and a compressor going through it right now okay let's go ahead and activate my bus one and some of you more log uh, experienced Logic Pro users have probably seen this plugin in previous editions. Um, it's just a basic Guitar Amp Pro. And what it does is combine a couple of different speaker emulations and um, microphone types and microphone positions. So how did I, how did I find that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to whatever channel strip I want and find an empty cell, hold down the option key on your keyboard and click and drag down and you'll see legacy as a drop down menu and it has a bunch of different options here okay and we're using the guitar amp pro okay so let's go ahead and play that so I'm gonna have it on just a basic clean tube amp and a 1 by 10 everything is basically on a, at 12 and I'm gonna go ahead and play. So we can kind of hear what this sounds like. And it just adds a little bit of uh, flavor to the overall um, mix of the drums or synth, whatever you wanna put this on. And you can blend it to taste. So let's see what it sounds like off center. Definitely more presence in the, in the highs, more scooped mids. Hear what it sounds like on the dynamic microphone, centered. Not a whole heck of a lot of difference. Let's see what. Very cool, that's very interesting. I didn't hear a lot of difference between either either of those mics. If you heard a difference, let me know in the comments. Um, but I still think that this is a pretty cool, versatile plugin that you can shape to whatever um, um, flavor that you want. So let's try the denoiser. And I found that in the same, the same drop-down menu. And what this does is that you, you can add white noise and pink noise and uh, it's just a basic denoiser but I think it can add some lo-fi quality and um, you'll hear it when I start playing you can hear that white noise and as I bring up the threshold less and less of it is present so as I'm dropping it down it's becoming a little bit more present in the mix and you can blend that to taste, just like the previous plugin. And it just adds a little bit of uh, grit, maybe some grime. 
might be worth something in your production. Um, but the third one, the A verb is a very basic, very basic reverb. That you have a couple of different options. Pretty stripped down, pretty basic. Not the prettiest interface. But I found that these are useful. And um, I may use them on, on a future production just depending on where my uh, song goes. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show. And if you found this video helpful, please uh, hit that like button. Or if you didn't, hit that dislike button. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.